you, baby. Voila. So, we made it to the site safe last night. Buddha Baker right there. Say hello to everyone. Hello, Come everybody. On. Come on. Got the keys? Yep. So, stay tuned for our adventures. She's been a good girl. Oh, good girl, Buddha. Yeah, nice little baby. Mm -hmm. So, right now we're about to just meditate, um, do some yoga, kind of, you know, relax our muscles or whatever. Subscribe if you haven't already. in the RV so if you couldn't hear me just a second ago Tori hurt her arm her wrist what were you doing skate and she's still been opening my door still been holding the groceries so if you sorry as niggas oh my god <laughs> I gotta say positive sorry um you know peace and love and positivity to everybody um just please keep it to your prayers Tori hurt her arm the other day skateboarding um I'm just thankful to God that she didn't really break it as bad as I thought she was. Um, because I really, y'all know I, really, I, <laughs> I put a lot of strength on her. <laughs> Don't be laughing at me. Don't joke on my eyes. I really put a lot of my weight on her, like, lean on me challenge. Yeah, you do. So, lean on me challenge. Um, I'm, just, I'm very happy that it didn't break. So, if y'all are um subscribe to us thank you much love we really appreciate y'all much love let's get out of here bye y'all I thought the, air, the RV's air wasn't working. Where you at, babe? And she fixed it. Let me show you. All right, so I'm on top of the RV right now. Um, so our air conditioner wasn't working. So I took off these screws right here and put them back on now. So I took off those screws and guess what was stuck behind the fan belt of stuck behind the fan belt of the air conditioner. These little pieces of styrofoam right here. So right now I'm going to finish putting the air conditioner back together. And then we have our fellow other campers here and then after I get through putting this back together I'm gonna sit in the RV I'm gonna relax unwind just chill out for a minute and then get my feet back on the ground Ever. Did you see it? Yeah. The 
giant. He's huge. Hola. You see our tens? We are super ten. And we are in the city right now, as you can see. There's so much going on behind us. It's super lit out here, y'all. I'm loving this RV life, RV living, full-time RV, all of that. I'm loving it. Um, we just got back from the beach. So we are about to go back to the RV and check on Rutabaga. She's in there um, relaxing under the air conditioner for all of my pet lovers. She is in the cool, cool air. I used to have to leave her in the cool, cool car and waste cool, cool gas. Yeah, because we're going to leave the car. Because we're going to leave the car. Because she's a princess. Yeah. That's one thing for sure. Yeah. Princess Rutabaga and Queen Horsham. Queen Horsham. Queen Horsham. Queen Horsham. Oh, yeah, whatever. So, right now. Oh, it is lit out here, y'all. It's fucking nice. I'm telling you, the buildings out here. We are living this spot in Florida. We are out exploring the city. Um, we just left the beach, like I said. So I just wanted to show y'all some of the scenery of where we are here in Florida. First district. Just a little bit of what the city looks like here. It's, this would be perfect for you. <laughs> Alright, so right now what we have is a smoothie that's about to go down. It has oranges, pineapples, kiwis, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, and it's all take my shoes off. We are headed back to the beach. Body heat. He's fucking barely alive. Mm -hmm. Somebody must have killed him. Just let me show y'all. This place is so So this is a baby crab. These are some of the crabs that are known to be found here on this particular shed we're at. So I'm gonna stay tuned for any other wildlife or anything like that. Okay. Yeah, somebody must have killed it. It was just laying in the freaking sand. I'm thinking somebody must have killed it. Must have stepped on it or something. He's such a baby. The one we saw yesterday was uh, maybe that would have to be an adult for sure.
Gue punya itu Ini udah stop Right now it's taking us all across the globe in our RV. Um, we plan on doing this for a very long time. It's such a blessing. We're super excited. We recommend this to anybody thinking about, um, you know, being debt free, getting away from society, just different things like that. Living life like a free spirit that you should be, you know, and that you are. So, yeah. Tori's got so much sand on her right now, so I gotta go get her some. Day on the beach, you know. We've been here for about three days, and we'll be here about ten four more. You know what I mean? About ten four more. You don't know what that means. You gotta do some math. Yeah. Um, we just want to send out some peaceful blessings. Peaceful blessings. Back the other way. Because life is so crazy. Stress out about things, or you can just take life one day at a time. You take each problem one step at a time. You know, Tori, she's very good at that. How are you good at problem solving? Um, yeah, I usually go through the process of all the steps, and like you said, take my time and stay patient for sure. That's the number one. Yeah, cuss a lot, fuck up a lot. We try, um, you know, just stay calm and patient. Get gas. Those kiwis. What else? Make a day. It's been, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. I don't know, it's been, oh, strawberries. And strawberries. So we made it back to the RV. Um, about to get washed up, get cleaned up, get dinner, dinner, dinner in the oven, and then, babe, what you finna do? Finna get some shells, you can roll a blunt, finna put some TV on, give me something to drink. Oh, I love this view. You loving the RV life? I gotta say, we blessed. Very much so, it feels amazing to be 27 y'all i know we ain't supposed to tell our age 27 okay. to be 27 with going on blessings. 17 going on 17 baby 17 again one of my favorite movies favorite T and movies. tamara so make sure y'all just stay tuned and if you're supporting us you already know we love 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 you so we want to say muchas gracias domo arigato you know any other language to say thank you? Ni hao. Oh, shishi ni. I like that one. That's hey. So, shishi ni. Thank y'all.